They're getting dis- paid. They're dis- getting paid. Disassociating himself they from... I, I've got a lot of issues with this comment because this was not a game that got out of hand. Because sometimes that happens, right? Sometimes you go down 14 nothing, 17 nothing, and you take your game plan and you rip it up and you go, okay, well, that's out the window. This is a 12-10 ball game at halftime. This is a game where they, in that two-point game, ran the ball five times in the first half, threw it 23 with a quarterback that was coming off of a dislocated shoulder and a labrum tear. What, I, there, there is, it, it's inexplainable to go, well, I really wanted to run the ball. You were in a game where the situation would dictate running the football. It was a two-point ball game at halftime, yet you're still throwing it 23 times with a quarterback that right now is no confidence. He's averaging eight yards per completion. That is the worst number in the history of the NFL right now. So game situation didn't dictate lack of running. Players' health didn't dictate lack of running. Players' performance or confidence level did not dictate the lack of runs. So as a play caller, you can't sit there and just go, well, I really wanted to. <laughs> if you wanted to, you would have. And that, I've got real issues with that for a young quarterback. What do you think that says about Matt Nagy then? Self-awareness is a big key to life right now. Like, I mean, look, this, it's so disappointing. We just got done with this conversation about Adam Gase. And now we got Matt Nagy. We got these young coaches that everybody think are these offensive minds and they prolific. They're supposed to put these young quarterbacks in a great position. It ain't that easy. And you know what else I'm starting to see with the Chicago Bears? I'm starting to see a defense become dejected. Sure. Like being on the field a lot. I've been in that situation before. Now, fortunately, I played with a really good quarterback who at least you felt like you had hope when he was in the game in Tony Romo. But I know what this mindset starts to creep. Right, we looking at Mitch Trubisky and we saying to ourselves, if I'm on that side, I'm like, damn, we're going to be out here for 90 plays today. And but then why right? did you throw the ball 23 times in the But that's my point, Dan. That's my point. So you look at Nagy, you look at Mitch, and then you start to look at this defense who we highly touted, and now you're getting into that gray area. Just as the defense is, is getting exasperated, the coaching staff feels like they're flat-footed because they believed this young man would take a jump this year that he has not taken. At all. I talked to members of their coaching staff before he was hurt, mm-hmm. and the stuff they were saying, Mark Helfrich, the offensive coordinator, told me the difference between anticipation and predetermination is Trubisky's problem right now, that he He's assuming his first and second read won't be open, so he's locked in on the third, and his feet aren't set when the first one's open. I mean, that sounds like a pretty big project, right? I mean, there's a lot to fix there. And this is year three with a quarterback that was supposed to be blossoming by now, and he isn't. They can't trust him, and I think that's affecting everything. And now now Twitter. That's the point. And now Twitter Twitter is undefeated at wanting to give someone else that job because there is an MVP guy that could potentially be lingering in bench, that being Cam Newton. Is there any chance that we're going to see Cam Newton make his way to Chicago. I like that question. Any chance? I always say, you know, it's, oh, there was, oh, it's a chance. Oh, no, I don't, I don't think the Carolina that. Panthers are in the frame of mind to move Cam Newton right now. They have Kyle Allen playing well. They love Cam Newton. He's their franchise icon. I, I believe at some point he'll play for them again, and I think it'll be this year. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.